So let's look at the general formula for alkanes. First off, alkanes are only made of carbon and hydrogen, and they only have single bonds. In carbon, it can bond to four things. So our simplest alkane is CH4, and that's its formula, like this. So again, alkanes, carbon and hydrogens, all single bonds. So if we wrote the formula, we have one carbon and four hydrogens. And typically we don't write the one here, but I'll leave it for now. If we had two carbons, again, the formula for alkanes, single bonds and only carbons and hydrogens, each carbon bonds to four things. Here we end up with C2, H, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is called ethane. If you had your alkane with three carbons, you have only single bonds, only carbons and hydrogens, each carbon is bonded to four things, you get C3H8, and that's called propane. So these are all alkanes. Let's look at the formula now. So we're increasing by one carbon. So we're gonna write carbon, and then we're gonna put N. That'll be our number, one, two, or three. Then for the hydrogens, and then we need to find some kind of rule here. It looks like we go up by two each time, four, six, eight. So it looks like if we took two times the number of carbons plus two, that would work. So if you have one carbon here, you'd have two times one plus two, you'd have C1H, two plus two is four. C1H4, you probably just write that CH4. If you had two carbons, N would be two, and you'd have two times two plus two. So two times two is four plus two is six. C2H6, there's our ethane. Last one. Pause, give it a try. So we have C3, and then for H, we have two times three is six, plus two is eight. C3, H8, there's your propane. And you can substitute any number for N and figure out what the formula for the alkane will be. So that's how you find the general chemical formula for alkanes. And note, this works for straight-chained alkanes as well as branched alkanes. It's Dr. B, thanks for watching.